Hey everybody, Adam with Front Range Storm Contractors here. Out here at uh, 1455 South Garfield Street in Denver. And um, before I get into the video, which is by the way gonna be how we got this roof approved for our customers, for the insurance company to pay for the whole roof, because it was a fight. Uh, but before I get into that, just wanna say if you like the video, please click the like button. If you really like the video, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the alarm so that you can be notified when we make new videos. Okay, so quick, let me show you. This is the front part of the house right here. You can see all the shingles behind me, right? And then there's, you know, shingles down this side and shingles down the other side too. So there's kind of like a U of shingles. And then inside that U, is a flat roof area mod bit is what we've got on here short for modified bitumen so when I met the adjuster from USAA on this um, property for their their initial inspection they approved everywhere that we have shingles right now to be replaced um, but they said that back here in the flat roof area there was no hail damage really doesn't make sense if you think about it how does only half of the roof get damaged I mean if it's a super steep roof and all the hail is coming from one side then I can understand how maybe the other side gets missed but this is a super flat roof and so the hail is not gonna hit the roof in like a u-shape now you could argue that the material that was on the flat roof section was just less susceptible to hail which actually would be a true statement because of the material that was on the roof um, however <clears throat> I saw hail damage on it and I know what hail damage looks like on a flat roof I've got a video you can go check out what does hail damage look like on a flat roof so I know what it looks like and the problem is, as a contractor, I can say that's damage. I can even say that's hail damage, but I can't tell them whether or not hail damage uh, is covered, right? I can't start talking about policy and stuff like that. So what I can do, though, is I can wait for them to officially approve it in writing and give us an estimate, and then I can submit my estimate which is much more expensive because it's for the entire roof replacement instead of just the parts that they originally approved. And then I can tell them why, okay? So on this particular roof, what I did was I came out after the adjuster gave us their estimate and I cut core samples into the roof. So in other words, I took my knife and I cut a two feet by two feet section out of the roof here. And I found out that there was actually two layers of mod bit or modified bitumen with a silver coating on top of that second layer of mod bit. And then I found out that under where the shingles are now, this area all up here was actually three layers of shingles and then underneath those three layers was a layer of wood shake. And so then what I did was I came to this hip area right here where the shingles where the shingles meet the mod bit, uh, hold on, where the shingles meet the mod bit right there, I came to this, these shingles right here, oh, I'm sorry guys, it's really hard for me to tell where this camera is pointing while I'm holding it in one hand, so let me do it this way, I think this will work better from this side, yeah, so I pulled up these shingles here on the old roof, and I showed USAA that the way these two roofs come together is a lot like a zipper, okay? So this mod bit strip right here comes all the way out to here and it lays over the roof underneath these shingles. And this strip right here comes all the way out to at least here and lays over the roof underneath these shingles. And then the shingles are put on top of that and then the ridge shingles on, okay? But on the previous roof, because there were so many layers, there was a layer of mod bit that came over and then wood shake underneath that and then a layer of shingles on top of that and then another layer of shingles 
and then the second layer of mod bit came over that and then the third layer of shingles and then the ridge shingles were on so it was really kind of zippered together okay if you if you know what i'm talking about let me set this down real quick so the layers were really zippered together with the mod bit and the shingles and they wanted us to remove all of the shingle layers and leave all the mod bit layers and there's just really no way that we can do that so i explained that to them i took pictures i did core samples i showed them exactly what we were going to be dealing with once we started taking this roof off and then not only did i get approval to replace the entire roof but i showed them how underneath those wood shakes was decking that was no longer code there was one by i think it was one by sixes and then a gap of a good two inches two to three inches before you get another one by six and you cannot install shingles on a house that has what's called gapped or spaced decking like that because the nails at some point definitely will go through that two to three inch space between the the one by sixes and put a hole through the shingles and not have anything to hold on to and it just doesn't work nobody honestly questions that it's just a question of whether that's the existing deck or not and i showed them that it was so before we even started tearing the roof off i got approval for all new wood deck and a whole new roof instead of just half the roof so that's the kind of thing that um a roofing company that goes above and beyond for your customer can do for you and that knows how to actually do the construction instead of just a salesperson and you know somebody who knows the laws and the codes and how the um, insurance industry works right so front range storm contractors um, you know we only advise to file a claim if you know there truly is storm damage and if you truly need a new roof I'm not gonna waste our time on marginal roofs that you know we're gonna have to fight and fight and fight over and there's really nothing there but uh, we are gonna do a good job for you we're gonna get it all approved and then we're gonna install a superior product okay these shingles are some of the best shingles on the market for their 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 level um there are double laminates and triple laminates that would be a higher tier shingles than these but as far as just the laminate shingles these are some of the best on the market and then we're going to correctly install the entire roof a lot of roofing companies let me point this out to you are going to use old counter flashing they're not going to replace the counter flashing but that counter flashing around that chimney, all the way around the chimney, is all new. Okay? None of this... It was, it was a silver roof before with, like, red and white shingles. So anything black on this roof is new, including all of these vents here. And the electrical mass painted. And every single vent over here. And then we also know how to correctly install ventilation, meaning that you need intake vents as well as exhaust vents. So let me show you guys over here. Hold it back like this again so that we can point at the right things. Do you see the, uh, the intake vents? Do you see them? Pretty well hidden, right? Don't see them at all until I come over here. Now you can start to see them. There they are. There's the intake vents for this roof. There's some on the other side as well. Low profile, can't really see them, but uh, your roof is going to age much faster if you don't have them there. Um, also, this section right in here, everybody. See those those ridge shakes right there I mean yeah they're ridge shingles we've got them on a hip and then the valley beside it that was not there before at all the previous roof literally just 
went right over that hip as if it didn't exist at all with regular shingles, which I cannot believe that it didn't leak before. Um, we've actually got, if you can see, we've got some modified bit underneath there in that valley, and then underneath that mod bit is ice and water. So we've got it double protected. It's never gonna leak unless it gets ripped, you know, or something like that. Um, so we're gonna do an excellent job. We're gonna get it paid for by your insurance company. And uh, if that's what you're looking for, instead of some fly-by-night or super cheap company, give us a call, 720-800-STORM, uh, which is 7867 is the last four digits, or website is www.frontrangestormcontractors.com. You can email us at info at frontrangestormcontractors.com or um but i uh, not or I, I meant to say you cannot text us at that phone number please give us a call or email all right have a good one everybody